Have you ever felt like you just can't catch a break? It's like life keep throwing darts at you and the target is on your face. Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to use that pain that comes with life and transform it into something that you could use to become the best version of yourself. Before we get started, I wanna say hello, welcome to my channel where we talk about intentional living, divine introspection, as well as holistic wellness. My name is Waisha, and if you're new here, Make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with future content. Okay, so let's dive right in. Pain is often seen as our enemy. No one wants to experience it. No one wants this smoke. And it's understandable. It hurts. But did you know that in most cases, pain could be used as a profound teacher or even a life coach? It pushes us out of our comfort zones. It challenges our perception and guide us to personal growth. So when we learn from pain, we gain this resilience, this compassion, this empathy for ourselves and others. For instance, the pain of a breakup. It's an experience many of us have gone through and through all the emotional turmoil and conflict, it feels like a part of us is lost. The pain is real, overwhelming. However, it is equipped with so many lessons. For example, a breakup could really teach us about boundaries and what we truly value in a relationship. And as we navigate through the hurt, we begin to understand who we are and what we need, not only from others, but from ourselves as well. This newfound knowledge and self-awareness is critical because it's really going to help us get from where we are currently to the best version of ourselves. And it's also laying that foundation for happier and healthier relationships in the future. So now that we understand that you can use pain as a life coach, let's break down three practical tips on how you could use your pain and turn it into your greatest strength. Okay, so number one, embrace vulnerability. Allow yourself to be vulnerable, to feel and acknowledge the pain that you have. By having that level of acknowledgement for your pain and where it stemmed from, you're able to gain the strength and courage needed to move forward. For example, let's imagine someone that just got laid off from a job. Their initial reaction may be to, you know, hide their feelings. It, it, it's embarrassing. I, I feel I'm sad. I'm worried. I have anxiety. I don't know what to do. And instead of keeping all those feelings bottled inside, this person could go to friends and family and say, hey, I lost my job. You know, this happened. And not only does this act help you express your feelings and get it out so that it doesn't become trapped energy within you. So in sharing and being vulnerable, you're allowing yourself, one, to not let pain control you, to not let it get you down. You're actually using it now as a life coach because you're allowing yourself to express it, right? You're allowing that energy to flow. You're sharing it with your close friends and family. And from there, you're putting it out in the universe that, hey, you know, this happened. This is where I am. And then you're allowing other opportunities to come unto you so that you're able to transform or step into something much better because maybe that job wasn't for you in the first place, right? Maybe maybe something better was right around the corner, but you had to walk away or you had to be let go of to be able to see it, to be able to receive it. So that's number one. Number two, seek lessons in every experience. So for example, if something bad happens, instead of saying, oh, why me? Oh, I can't win. You could say, hey, okay, that happened. I wonder what this situation is trying to teach me at this moment. With everything in life comes an opportunity to learn. So for example, let's say we have a person who is experiencing a major health problem. And instead of this person dwelling on it, you know, saying, you know, why did this happen to me? Instead, they say, okay, I understand that I'm here. How did I get here? How can I prevent myself from getting to this point again, how can I heal myself and learn the right way to treat my body, the right foods to eat so that I don't have to experience this health concern ever again. In this instance, pain turned out to be a life coach because it was able to show you, hey, you're, you're going down the wrong path. And because of doing so, 
These are the consequences you're experiencing, this pain, this, this health problem. And now that this information is shown to you, you have the opportunity to turn your life around. You have the opportunity to make better decisions and better choices moving forward. To complement that is point number three, which is cultivate a sense of gratitude for everything. Now, I know it's easier said than done, you know, if you're in the middle of an intense breakup, the last thing you're going to do is look at your, you know, ex and say, Oh, thank you so much for all the pain. Right. In real life, that's not how it plays out. However, when you have time to kind of sit and reflect and settle down from it all, take a second to think about all the good that came out of that relationship. Take a second to think about all that you have learned, all the laughter all of the transformation that you had in that relationship. It may not have been pretty the whole time, but you are a better person. And even if you're in the midst of it and you don't feel like you've made any progress or you don't feel like you've become a better person, if you allow yourself to take the lessons that you learned in that experience, you will be able to transform yourself into the better version of you because you took the time to step back and see this is the lessons that came out of it and then you're able to proceed forward with better relationship with a better perspective of the situation and how to handle certain things and having gratitude amongst it all will amplify the blessings that come with those lessons so that when you're faced with another opportunity to try again you got this you know what I'm saying? You got this because you've done the work. You took that pain and transformed it into power. And now you are the best version of yourself. And you're going to go right into that next lesson because in life, it's a constant growing, a constant learning. And if you continue to use pain as a life coach, you will become exactly who you are destined to be. You will enter into relationships with the exact people you're meant to be with at that exact time divine time everything will fall into place remember your pain is not a life sentence this too shall pass in the meantime embrace it learn from it and use that temporary discomfort to propel you to the stronger more compassionate best version of you thank you so much for watching if this video resonated with you please like subscribe and share the love leave comments below if you have an experience that you could speak on where you've transformed your pain into power stay tuned if you're interested in more videos about intentional living divine introspection as well as holistic wellness until next time take care of yourself peace and love